In this Universe Sandbox video, we're gonna be creating a mega system using star Stephenson 218, the biggest star that we know of in the universe. So just to see how big Stephenson 218 is, let's just put it in our solar system. Um, and there we go. So you can see the sun is this little tiny dot here and Stephenson 218 is this big. So if we just put it like right here, you can see that just the size of the sun goes out to like Saturn's orbit. So almost all the planets are just devoured immediately. If we speed up time, we can see that, oh, I guess it's moving. Um, so I guess Uranus will survive. So to make a system with this, let's start by putting the actual star in, right in the center. Perfect. So it doesn't look that massive right now, but if we actually check our habitable ring, so this will show us um, an Earth-like planet would have to be in this green area to um, have the right temperature. So actually, I think what I wanna do is put the sun out here. So this is 0.1 light years away from the star. That is crazy. It would take about a month for the light from Stephenson 218 to get all the way out here to the sun, which is crazy. So actually what we can do in the sun settings, go to actions, we can click add planets to star. So this puts all of the main planets in. So now we have the entire solar system. Well, not everything, but we have all the planets in the solar system orbiting Stephenson 218 completely by themselves. We have a mega star, so I think we start making some mega planets. So for our mass, let's make it, let's just keep dragging this up until we get a really, really big planet. Okay, that's a gas giant, go back. Okay, it looks like that is about the biggest we can get for Rocky. Um, the mass is eight times Jupiter's mass. And the radius is still growing a little bit. We'll give it a second. Um, looks like the elevation map cleared. So let's find some, do something like that. And let's get some better colors on here. Perfect. And let's go ahead and add an atmosphere. That there looks pretty good. 127, so you would die just from the surface pressure on here. And now let's add some water. We need a good name for this one. I'm gonna name it Mega Planet, cause why not? And Let's get some better colors. I actually want this to look pretty cool. Something like that. And then let's also add city lights and make them that light blue color too. Perfect, look at that. Um, I'm gonna adjust the atmosphere coloring and add some more clouds. And here's the mega planet. Let's check our temperatures. Average temperature is about eight. It looks like it's cooling down. So let's add some more atmosphere layers. All right. We got it pretty close now, around 15 Celsius, which should be pretty good. And I do want to check our habitability levels. It's 0.24%, probably because it's just so massive. <laughs> one year, because it's so far away from its star, but that's how far it has to be. One year is 0.02 mega year, and one mega year is a million years. So 20,000 years, I think. So <laughs> one year is insane. So like if we give it some seasons with our tilt, so it looks like it already does have it. Um, like your seasons are gonna last thousands of years, which is kind of funny. Um, let's give it a better interface color. And I wanna give it some rings. That would be cool. Perfect, just like that. And I do wanna also give it a moon. Um, we could actually put Earth as its moon, because look at the size difference between Earth and the mega planet. Just like one of these islands is a continent. That's so crazy. So let, yeah, let's actually put Earth as its moon, and I'm sure it's gonna freeze over, but that's okay. Okay, so there we go. We got our first planet in here. Um, I wanna put one closer now, and we should make like a lava giant planet. We're gonna still have to put it 400 times further than Earth is from the sun, just so it doesn't completely get obliterated. So I think we're gonna start here by just um, setting the temperature pretty high. So we could add atmosphere layers and then make it Venus-like. So let's start by adding an atmosphere. Oh, and let's also make it really big too. A hundred times more massive than Earth now. Perfect. And then let's make our atmosphere layers. Yeah, this is gonna work. It's starting to glow. You can see, whoa, the star looks so big from here. Like landing on the planet. It looks massive. Let's tilt it more so we're getting some more heating on top too. Because once again, the years on here, one year is gonna last 775 years. So each season's gonna be around 200 years. 
So tilt it like that and let's give it a moon. I want to give it a water moon. So let's get a moon here. That is a very pretty moon. I'm sorry that you're not going to be so pretty for so long. You're probably going to get heated up too. Okay, we're going to name it Lava Quencher. So if this moon ever crashes into the surface, it will quench the lava. If you'd like to purchase Universe Sandbox, there will be a link um, at the top of the description and in the comments. So go ahead and click that so you can get yourself a copy of the game. Okay, next I want to try to do binary planets. I want to do a gas giant and then a rocky planet binary. So let's go random rocky and then put it in orbit about right here. That's a pretty planet. We could keep it habitable like that. So now let's do binary of that, a gas giant. And let's increase the mass on this so they're similar in mass. Okay, that binary orbit looks pretty close. It gets close around there. Um, but as long as it doesn't get destroyed by the Roche limit, we should be good. Right there is the closest it gets. And it looks like it's okay. Um, looks like all the clouds left, so let's add those back. Ooh, yeah, that looks better. And I want to see some land on here. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so now we got to name them. Okay, I'm gonna name them Super and Mega because those names kind of go together. And I want to do a lot of bands on the Mega one here. Let's do orange, let's keep it orange-ish, but let's do a lot of bands. All right, I did a little bit of orange and blue because I thought it looked cool. I want to see if we can create a Barra Center here. So this Barra Center is the point where they're orbiting around. So each um, planet, is going around this point so now we can use that point and try to make a moon that orbits both of them i want to see if this is possible so the orbit looks a little bit whack but if we put on trail it should we should be able to see that this is working yes okay so we got a moon to orbit super and mega so now we have to name the moon ultra and i like this uh elevation map let's try to fill those valleys canyons with water just a little bit just like that almost make it kind of swampy um let's put some green vegetation on this one just because we haven't used that yet and add an atmosphere on it perfect so now in our mini system here we've got super mega and ultra uh three objects orbiting each other around stephenson 218 the biggest star in the universe that is crazy and they have a slightly elliptical orbit, which is kind of cool. I like that. I'm going to leave that. Next, I want to try to do something with a black hole. I mean, yeah, this is the mass of the sun, this black hole. But Stephenson 2 and 8 is so big that we could do it. So let's put it, I would say, out here. So <laughs> the entire solar system's right here, uh, which is still funny to me. Um, okay, black hole, one solar mass. And I want to try to get a habitable planet all the way out here next to this black hole. So what I think we're going to do is use a gas giant. Put a gas giant in orbit around this black hole. Um, probably about there. should be fine. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be very, very dark out here. If we turn off our flashlight, um, it still somehow gets light from Stephenson 2 and 8. I, that amazes me. It is so... Stephenson 2 and 8 is so big. Um, and then what we can do is actually use a tidally heated moon to try to um make life all the way out here and first of all we're just gonna want to adjust our stuff to make it habitable so we're gonna add some water to it add an atmosphere so now that we got some good um stuff on it we need to get it closer to the gas giant so let's slow down time so what i'm gonna do is open up its temperature it is heating up already so i guess the tidal heating is working even though it's not that close is 25.8 so it's actually very warm out here that's around 78 temperature 78 degrees fahrenheit so it actually looks like we don't need to change the distance this is a good distance and let's check our habitability on here 44.6 i wonder what happens if we tidally lock it so I just tidally locked it and now let's check. It's at 35.9, but that's more realistic. So I think I'm going to keep it tidally locked. And then for our gas giant here, let's make it blue. I kind of like blue gas giants. Um, I'm not going to do as many bands for this. And let's give it rings too. I kind of like that. I accidentally made it too small, but it's just like rings that are really close to the surface. That looks kind of cool, actually. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, so now we got Life Giver and then Life in the Darkness all the way out here. I guess the planet's big enough to be binary with the black hole we made, but this black hole is still orbiting Stephenson 2 and 8 and our mega planet. All right, that's going to be it for this mega system here. 
As always, the link to download it will be in the description. If you guys have any good ideas for systems you want to see, leave them down in the comments. Also, if you guys would like to see more planets in this system, let me know. Uh, join my Discord server if you haven't already. We just hit 300 members. And I'll see you guys next time.